It's Janet. I'm a youth services librarian here at the Wilmette Public Library. Welcome to We're Gonna Make It. Simple crafts for complicated times. It's November and I'm looking ahead to winter. With coronavirus numbers going up, it's looking like it's going to be a long, cold, and lonely winter. Many of us will not be able to see the family and friends we would usually get together with during the winter, especially at the holidays. Sure, we can talk on the phone or have a video chat, but video calls only last so long. How can we feel like our loved ones are with us just a little bit longer? Stick puppets! I love stick puppets. I think they're hilarious. I especially love stick puppets of my family and friends. If you don't believe me, you've got to try this. You can make stick puppets from common household items. Thick paper, popsicle sticks, and tape. You can keep the stick puppets for yourself or send them away to your friends and family. I'll show you how. The first thing to do is gather some photos. You may have glossy prints at home already. You may also have digital photos that you can print out. I love looking at old photos and remembering the more social times. Hmm. If you don't already have photos of your family and friends, that's another reason to reach out to them. Once you have your photos, size them. This photo is five by seven inches. I think that's a good size for a stick puppet. Print out your photos. This one is printed on cardstock. If you have cardstock, great. If not, regular printer paper will work. If you don't have a color printer, of course, you can come to the library. Once you have your printout, cut it out. I like to cut pretty close to the outline of the person. So you can see I'm cutting right around my mom's head. Here we go. You see? Okay, here's my stick puppet. It's ready for a popsicle stick. You can use a popsicle stick, a straw, or a stick from the backyard maybe. Then use some tape. to attach the stick to your puppet. And voila, grandma on a stick. Oh, look, here's my family. They're getting ready for a holiday dinner. They're all sitting around the dinner table, which is actually a piece of foam. I stuck the stick puppets in there so that they would be upright. Now, what I like about this gathering is I didn't have to clean the house. My daughter didn't have to clean her room. She's pretty happy about that. There's so many people here. Oh, what fun. There are no size limits on this gathering. Let's see who came to see us. Here's my mom. She came down from Milwaukee. She brought along my cousin Kate and Kate's daughter, Izzy. They brought their dog, Bailey. Look, cousin Lynn even came in from Kansas. Oh, that was so nice of her. Wow, we could even have international visitors. Maybe my in-laws from Scotland will show up for dessert. That would be so much fun. But you know what the best part is? Nobody had to quarantine. Nobody had to take a COVID test. We're not even wearing masks. Oh, look, Izzy and my daughter, they're 
playing together. They're playing right close up. They're giggling. They're laughing. They're having fun. And they don't have to wear masks. Oh, what a relief. Oh. And here's my dog. He is usually not allowed at the dinner table because he begs like crazy. He has very bad manners. But when he's on a stick, he's very well behaved. He doesn't even chase Bailey around. Good boy. Look at this. Cousin Kate brought her famous cheesy artichoke dip. Now, usually I cannot eat the cheesy artichoke dip because I'm lactose intolerant. But when we're stick puppets, I can have as much artichoke dip as I want. Oh, uh-oh. What's that I hear? Is that... Is that a family argument? Oh no. Packers! Bears! Packers! Bears! Packers! Bears! Oh no. Oh, this has got to stop. Hey! No arguing about sports at the dinner table! <gasps> Would you look at that? They listened to me. They stopped arguing. That was so simple. Wow, maybe we should have a stick puppet family dinner every year. I think that stick puppets allow us to feel close to friends and family, even when we can't see each other. The great thing about them is we get to pick and choose which aspects of family and family life we get to keep. I still think it's really funny to think about your friends and family on popsicle sticks. So use your imagination. Try to find something to laugh about. That is how we're gonna make it.